Hello and welcome to this Dr Ross Maths key skill video on reading Roman numerals up to 100. So we have these different numbers which are in something called Roman numerals. That's the number system that the Romans used and we want to convert them to normal numbers like 100 for example. Now just like we have a sort of tens digit and then a units digit the Romans had a similar system. They had some symbols to represent the tens digit and then some symbols to represent the units digit. The difference with the Roman system and our system is they might have used multiple letters to represent the tens digit and multiple letters to represent the units digit. So let me write these down, what the different tens letters are and what the different units letters are. So let's start with the units first. If we want to represent one in Roman numerals, it's just I. If we want to represent two, then it's I, I. We've got two I's to represent two. And then three, you might guess where this is going. You have three I's like that. However, four, we start to get a few too many I's and it becomes difficult to count. So what we actually have is I, B. Now, I'll try and explain this in a second. If I go first to five, five is V. And what IV means is basically one less than, because remember I means one, one less than five, and one less than five is four. Whereas for six, you write VI, and because the I occurs after the V, it means one more than five, so that would give you six. Then seven, it would be two more than five, and then eight, because we know what three is, we want three more than five, so VIII. -I -I. And then nine, now again, we don't have four i's to represent four. So actually we want to say one less than 10. Now 10 is x in Roman numerals. So we want to say one less than 10, one less than x, that's gonna be i x. Now let's go on to the tens. 10 is x, 20 is x x, and it's gonna be very similar to this. 30 is x x x, just like three is i i i. Now, 40, we probably want to have 10 less than 50, just like for 4, we have 1 less than 5. So we want 10 less than, x less than, 50. Now, 50 is L in Roman numerals. So I'm going to put 50 there, which is L. Now, for 60, you might guess where this is going. We want 10 more than 50, so it's LX with the X after the L rather than before it. Then 70 is LXX. 80 is LXXX, and then 90, well, let's think 9 is 1 less than 10. For 90, we'll want 10 less than 100. So it's 10 less than 100. Now, 100 in Roman numerals is C. And if you think where you might have seen a word to do with 100 with letter C, well, century is 100 years. Or well, centurion is supposedly um, a commander in charge of 100 people in the army. Now let's put these together to convert these numbers. So VI, now V is to do with units, it's like five and that's one, isn't it? So we can see it's actually here, that just means six. So that doesn't have any tens digit, it's just units and it's six. What about X, X, I, I, I? Well, X, that's 10, isn't it? That's to do with the tens digit. Well, we can see we got X, X to mean 20. So we got 20 and then I, I, I means three. So that is 23. What about C? We've got L, X, I, X. Well, L, X, can we see that in this table for the tens? L, X is 60, so it's gonna be 60 something. L, X, and then there's I, X. I, X is here, which is nine, so it's 69. And then D, X, C, V. Well, X, C is 90, isn't it? So X, C is 90. And then V is 5 in the units column, so it's 95, and that's the final answer.